Real quickly, what we're going to outline here is the difference between shaft rocker arm and a standard stud mounted rocker arm and how geometry is achieved and uh, also determining proper push rod length. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start with this uh, more common per se stud mounted rocker arm and I've only got one hand here so uh, of course we've got a push rod that's going to come through and it's going to uh, be sitting in our push rod cup or seat in the back of the rocker arm. Now in this particular situation the rocker or sorry the push rod length is going to somewhat determine your geometry because if we have too long of a push rod uh, you can see this valve tip here and as I push up you'll see the roller moves forward on the valve tip. If we're too short brings it down it's going to be on the back side of that that tip uh, valve tip so basically getting the proper push rod length is crucial to your rocker arm or valve train geometry in this particular situation and you also want to make sure even though if the geometry was incorrect if we have this pushed way up here you can see that stud a lot of its exposed we're going to start to deflect that stud chances of breaking it are much higher and of course too short you can see that it'll start to contact the retainer and of course the rocker arm doesn't even sit down on the valve tip itself so pretty basic now I've made a couple of sweep patterns here you'll notice this one here is a little bit towards your intake side of the cylinder head which is showing you that the push rod is too short the next one is towards the exhaust side of the cylinder head that sweep pattern showing you it's a little bit too long those are pretty extreme but at least it gives you the idea of towards the intake side is short towards the exhaust side is too long this one here is about center that's what you're looking for that's proper geometry proper push rod length and then last but not least you'll see this wider pattern depending on how the cylinder head pads are machined how the valves laid out uh, can determine how wide the sweep would be but of course you still want it central on the valve tip so you reduce the amount of valve train wear that's a pretty typical cylinder head and pretty typical setup when you get into a little bit nicer stuff what we're looking at here is a shaft system so now same push rod will put up through the cylinder head here and as you notice basically there's no adjuster in the center of the rocker arm the adjuster is actually at the push rod cup so our rocker arm geometry is actually determined on our pedestal height so if we lift this you'll see we're actually center of the valve right now now if I lift the back of this rocker arm as if I was lifting the pedestal then basically that's how we're going to change the geometry is by lifting it or of course if I could I can't lower it but by lifting it up you'll notice I'm rolling up to the exhaust side of that tip is telling us that basically we're shim too high and if it was moving backwards on the valve towards the intake side we are way too low on our pedestal down here push rod length is not determining our valve train geometry in this situation now to further move forward on that what we want to do if I have the tool here basically we have an adjuster now what's crucial is if you have too long or sorry too short of a push rod this adjuster inside this rocker is now going to be too far out the bottom and the chances of it deflecting the same way as having it too far up on our stud we're going to deflect this here push rod cup and possibly snap it off the bottom of the rocker on the flip side if it's way too long and you can't get enough adjustment uh, it can be a problem if you can't get the adjustment but essentially you want to seat this cup then turn it one turn back down into the rocker arm as your standard starting point and then figure out your push rod length accordingly too short would be a major problem a little bit too long is not going to hurt you nearly as bad and is not going to cause any issues hope this helps for determining the difference in how you figure out rocker arm geometry on a shaft system versus a stud style system